Uh, hi and welcome. I hope you are good. Uh, today I'm going to solve a problem which I came across some time back and it's a question. So the question is that in R, how to extract a single column from a data frame as a data frame. Uh, now what I mean by this is, suppose I'm taking this empty cast data set And let's first extract uh, these two columns. I just want to subset this data so that I have only these two columns as an output. Uh, so the general method is empty cars. I'm using base R. You just need to give C MPG comma CYL. Now when I run this control enter, it gives me a, it gives me both the columns as a data frame. Now suppose I just uh, I remove this cylinder and I just put in only one column. So what do you think the output will be? It it should be it would be a, a series or a data frame. So when I run this, it returns a series. It doesn't return it it returns a vector actually. Uh, series is in Python, uh, so it returns a vector. So now in many cases, I just want the output to be a data frame, not a vector. So one, uh, one solution to solve this problem is when you write this empty cars, you just need to put in drop equal to false. So now the output of this uh, subsetting query will be a data frame. It, uh, it will not be a vector. Another method is we can just type empty cars you don't need to put c in that just put mpg now uh, this will also return a data frame but this has a limitation now i cannot subset this data frame based on rows so uh, based on row suppose in this case in this one all the rows will be uh, returned in the data frame but uh, but suppose in case i want say one the rows which are from 1 till 15 uh, i can put in one colon 15 here but I cannot do that here so this is a better solution to subset the data now uh, in where the columns that no be need to be fetched are variable for example if I give one two say I'm just putting six okay so this will also return a data frame but the six in the the top the top six rows uh, will be returned now why this is useful is uh, many times this part where you are entering the column name uh, this might be variable for example suppose I am I am creating a vector column names equal to mpg and just I am putting col underscore names Okay, uh, why this happened was because I didn't run this line. Okay, so now it is returning a, um, a, a, a vector, not a data frame. Again, if I just put drop equal to false, it will return a data frame. Now, this, vari this variable, we now this uh, vector, we can change it to say CYL. And let's see if there is... Uh, how many columns are there in this uh, data frame? Empty names, empty cars. Let's take this one as well. So I'll put in so if I run this in this case also it will return a data frame and if I run this and then again run the uh, subsetting Again, it will return a data frame. So the objective is to return the subset, the output of the subset as a data frame in any case, any scenario. So that when you write a code, it doesn't uh, break when uh, suppose you wanted uh, wanted the output as a data frame and the output came as a, a vector. So, uh, so this is a solution. In summary, again, whenever you are subsetting, just put in summary again, whatever data frame you have, say you are giving 
rows 1 to n to row n rows comma column names comma just put drop equal to false I'll just take another example which I have already taken empty cars suppose I am giving one till say this time 7 comma I want mpg just put drop equal to false now this will return the subset out this output of the subset as a data frame not as a vector so uh, I hope this was useful and thank you take care